Go vegan! Uh, some say there's controversy around Duterte's presidency, but I think it's good, man. I think it's good for Devour. Every person I talk to in Devour is like, Duterte, he's cleaned it up. He's uh, got rid of the scumbags and he continues to do that. So that's where discipline's really important. And I think Duterte's really enforced that here in, in especially Davao City, but also also in the Philippines, you know, like just that martial law. I think it's good. I think martial law gets my thumbs up, man, because you're walking down the street, your iPhone, and you know, you got like crew, just no one's, no one's bad, man, you know? Hello. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, so it's really good. It's really good. And you got these little uh, buggies, they're pretty interesting. I mean, there's a lot of beggars. There's a lot of beggars in the Philippines, but they, don't, they, they just ask you for something. You don't have to give them anything. It's like they, they never threaten you, they just ask, you know? It's just like the Patreon e-beggars on YouTube, you know? I guess the difference between the Patreon e-beggars and the, be the, the beggars of the streets around the world is the, the Patreon e-beggars are just lazing in bed, just playing video games at night time, living with their parents or just holidaying around. But the, the real street e-beggars, they're living on the street, 99% of them, so. They're, they're the ones doing it tough. The Patreon e-beggars, <laughs> they're wearing their $400 Versace sunglasses. Oh my God, what a, how can you be a Patreon e-beggar and wear $400 sunglasses? <laughs> yeah, something wrong with you, mate, something wrong with you. But really, like, how can anyone, you know, how can you be an Australian and beg for money on the internet? How can you do that? That's disgusting, that's fucking deplorable. Get a fucking job. Just like those Filipinas do, you know? <laughs> Australians e-begging on the internet, or Americans even oh, come on, man. Come on. Don't be afraid of hard work, you lazy Aussies. You lazy Canadians, you lazy Americans. Don't be afraid of hard work. Too many people want results, but they're allergic to hard work, consistency, dedication, and passion. And they're too busy just putting the hand out. Give me a please. Give me 2,000 bucks a month, give me 500 bucks a month for a couple of videos a week that I make on my spare time. The rest of the time I lay in bed, fapping off how good I think I am. Come on, man, pick up the bar, pick it up. Another reason we need to eat more fruit trees, look at that. 75% surface runoff for 10% plants and litter. 40%, two, only 2% 2 runoff. You know, that's what we need. Not animals, not even motherfucking trees. Vegan. If I'm honest, I, go, I think I feel safer in Davao City than I do in Adelaide where I live. Adelaide's a pretty safe city, but Davao was voted second safest city in Asia uh, behind Singapore. So there was some police officers just over here before and they said, good morning, sir, good morning. You don't get that in Australia. If I was in Australia and it's almost, I feel like the police here will defend you more because they want to you know, show a good example for tourism. In Australia, I mean, I've got, I've got some police officers, friends in Australia, but uh, in general, if you're a cyclist in Australia, you get hit by a car, most of the cops are like, eh, we don't give a fuck. And that's not all, that's just, that's just most. But my vibe here in Davao City is most of the police officers give a fuck about the tourists, you know, so you're going to feel pretty safe here in Davao. I give you an assurance of that. And there's police almost every corner. This guy here, so every few hundred meters, police. They just throw the They play the little game, they throw the little thing. So the kids here play on the street. In Australia, in Australia if you're playing on the street, <laughs> the cops are trying to go away. But, so that's the difference, kids here playing in the street, no one sees the mind. But that's pretty cool, they just have like a little sticky tape ball and they just throw it at each other, sort of like, what do we call that in school? What was it called? Dodgeball. Dodgeball. So they do dodgeball with the, the sticky tape ball. And I haven't seen anybody smoking here in Davao. Been here three days now, I haven't seen a single, I've seen one Westerner smoke, I should say, at, near my hotel. But I haven't seen any, 
any smokers, so it's like the air feels a lot better. It's close to the beach, air pollution's, you know, Southeast Asia, but it's pretty good here. It's pretty good. If you need to get your bread sliced and sharpened up, come and see uh, Adalo's sharpening. So Vegan Gains, Vegan Gains said this about me. Look at this. So Vegan Gains will do the debate, like I said he would, but only if he gets $5,000. That's what Vegan Gains has all become about. Just about the money. These e-beg strong, money strong, I don't know, I, I disagree with that. I don't need $5,000 to debate anyone who's critical of my teachings. Just give me a date and time and I'll fucking turn up and do it. But unfortunately, Vegan Gains has, he wants 5,000 bucks to debate me. He wants me to pay him or people pay 5,000 bucks to debate. It's like this guy, now there's no hate for Vegan Gains. Just don't hate the guy, just share my comments and criticisms. But like, what, what's this about now? Is this just about money? Yeah, so I feel I find it disappointing. Um, I know that Vegan Gains would probably come up with some excuse or that, you know, I, anyway, I'll debate him any day of the week. I've got some truth bomb questions that he doesn't want to answer, but, you know, he doesn't want to do it, he's backed out, whatever, fair enough. But just let the record know that I'll always live debate any of my critics, anytime, anywhere, let me know. Second point was, he says, uh, boxing ring, uh, I mean, if we... <laughs> If me and Megan Gaines step in the boxing ring, 100%, I'm flogging him. I'll beat him in the boxing ring, for sure. His, his cardio is so lacking. You know, he's, I would, I, let's say we, we do, we fight 70 kilos, maybe 75 kilos, because it might be a bit hard for him to drop down. But let's, okay, let's say we fight at 75 kilo in the box weight area. Um, I could get to that pretty easy. He could get down to that. If I, if I was training Megan Gaines, I could get him down to 75. Fit, cut, lean, fast, strong, you know, powerful instead of just bloated, synthol looking creatine arms or whatever. Um, I could get him in shape. I would still flog him in the ring, you know, barring a lucky punch or whatever. I could still flog him in the ring. He doesn't have that, you know, athletic instinct. He, he's good at, he's not even good at weights, but he's, you know, anyway, I don't wanna, I don't wanna shade him too much. Um, another point with this is, you know, I don't wanna give Harley any free, free time, free exposure. Unlike the free exposure I gave him when he had maybe 500 subscribers, or maybe it was 50 subscribers or whatever. I was the person who got vegan gains on YouTube. I'm the one that answered all these questions, all these private emails about copyright issues or community strikes or everything. I was the one who gave him the shout outs. I told him, how to, I told him literally to create worst of the fitness industry uh, videos. I told him everything about that. I told him how to do the, 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 the bicep flex. He said, dude, you've got to do that. Otherwise you look too skinny in just a t-shirt. And all the, the fake, fake, fake natty lovers won't uh, you know, believe what you're saying. Anyway, so vegan gains is backed out of the bait. He's used some monetary excuse. He's backed out of the boxing ring. I'll do that anytime. Uh, I'll even fly to Toronto for it. Because I, I was going to go to Toronto anyway at some point. But uh, he should, actually, he should just come to Thailand. You know, Thailand's actually, it's, that'd be better. Um, but anyway, I'll make it happen whatever way. I don't, I don't look for excuses. I look for results. And vegan gains, to anyone out there, when you lose your excuses, you'll find your results. Step up to the plate. Don't fear challenges. the slums of our how do I feel I feel really safe I wouldn't feel this safe in certain parts of Australia low economic areas but man look this is basic living this is basic living this is all those patreon e-beg strong people need to come along going, I need two thousand bucks to live at home these people live on less than two dollars a day a lot of them look at this this is their house this is a tin and stuff like that people need to get some reality checks don't they in the vegan movement got the Sprite here. This has got high fructose corn soup in there, which means it's gonna taste like shit. It does not taste sweet to me. First world problem, but I much prefer the Thai Sprite. I can't drink this Sprite. I just, I thought I'll try a green bottle here in the Philippines. It's, don't bother, don't waste your time. Just get water and sugar. This is taste, taste hideous. You need to have sugar, real quality sugar in your Sprite, otherwise it tastes crap. So remember that, strip like, the only good, the only Sprite I recommend, I'm gonna go record. The only Sprite I recommend is Thai Sprite. Huh? Anyone else, don't drink it. It's hideous. Fucking lean, bruh. He is fucking lean.
So we're here in one of the shopping centres in Davao. They don't really use much locks here. In Australia, they don't get, they don't get broken pretty quick. So I'm not going to lock my bike. I'm just going to do a test and see if I come back and my bike's still here. I'm going to take my bag with me and get my stuff in there to do shopping. But uh, I'm going to leave my helmet unlocked and we'll see how we go. So what will happen? Will my bike come missing or will it stay there? Just to find out. This is Jollibee. It's got a cute little face. But if you want a Jollibee face, if you want your face puffy like Jollibee, come and eat a Jollibee. And my bike is still here. It's night time. Still here. Helmet still there. Unlocked. Still here. Davao City. Not too bad, is it? Not too shabby. Epic, epic, epic fucking rainstorm. The, the roads were flooded. These guys are gonna come. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, woo! This is, this is the Davao City, Philippines, man. Yeah, woo! Go vegan!